Hey everyone, I'm back with another video. Um, this week I thought I would just do a little update video because, um, I don't know, lots of things have been going on in my houseplant world. Um, in excellent news, I'm <laughs> tooting my own horn here, um, I haven't purchased anything unnecessary in the last week, which is very good. So if you haven't watched my um, no buy video from last week um, then you know that won't make sense but that is what I'm doing <laughs> so um, yeah so that's going well um, I'm about to go on holiday sorry I'm making this really uncomfortable to watch aren't I I'm about to go on holiday um, up to Scotland and um, I've kind of spent a lot of time just trying to recover my plants and make sure they're all looking happy um, I've also dyed my hair um, obviously it's looking a little bit different right now I, I actually really like it um, <sighs> yes um, so <laughs> you if you've watched some of my more recent videos you probably will have heard that I have some kind of throat major infestation and it's just frustrating as hell and um, I've kind of been battling it a lot with the Provanto, which is a pesticide, and I will do a video on it at some point. Um, seems to touch wood, be it working okay. So um, hopefully we're getting onto better ground, but there are quite a few of my plants that have certainly seen better days, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I'll show, that, show you that as we go around. So I'll just do a little, little update. Um, I'm just having a look around to see what we can talk about. Um, so we'll go on to begonias because why the heck not? Oh, I've also got some quite cool rare plants to show you that, you know, happened in my purchasing frenzy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I will switch the camera around and take you around. Okay. So here is my lovely horsehead philodendron with a lovely little new leaf. His older leaves are not looking quite so happy because, um, he had thrips. Um, here is my <laughs> philodendron tortum, which was converted to leca, and he's doing okay. Um, I know he doesn't look like he's doing okay, but he has actually grown. So um, I'm just kind of trying to leave him so he's not um, got too much stress going on. Uh, we've got a calathea here that really needs to be watered. Bad Emma. Um, <laughs> um, my little begonia section. Um, it might not look like much at the moment but it is recovering so um yeah it's it's been through a lot but let's just take it as it comes so i've got this lovely begonia coralina du de la Su lucerne i can't say that um which is actually it's got a little flower um coming through there i don't know if you can see that just there um so that's good um he was dropping everything and you can probably still see on this leaf we've got um, some pretty nasty damage on there and uh, on that one there but so you can see he's got nothing all the way up to there where he is now growing some lovely new leaves so I am very happy about that um, here was another thrips victim um, but he's making his way back we had some powdery mildew and thrips on most of these begonia rexes so we've 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 been through a real struggle, okay? Um, this was one of my favourites, and I don't think he's going to pull through. This is my Begonia Maze Nigricans. So, you know, one day I'm hoping either he will return to the living, which I think is unlikely, um, or I'll hopefully be able to swap um, like a cutting with someone. That's my Begonia Maculata Whitei, who's just dying, dying, but he seems to be... He's not dying anymore, so we'll, we'll go with that. I'm going to take that as positive. Um, yep, so some little begonias making their own little recoveries now. Um, you know, just because they don't have any leaves doesn't necessarily mean they're not um, okay. Um, they just aren't producing as much right now. Maybe they're kind of feeling like they need to be dormant, um, especially after a thrip infestation. So, um, yeah, sorry about the shaky light. Um, my black knight, who's also succumbed a bit to the powdery mildew. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, he was a real um, thrips victim. Look at that. Not much of him left, but he's uh, he's doing okay. He's doing okay. Um, and this lovely, um, beautiful begonia tamaya is now growing prolifically and 
this one also really struggled it dropped almost all its leaves um during its thrips infestation and now look at it it's a real beauty um so there we go um so yeah yeah just things are looking a bit sad but that you know compared to a few weeks ago when i was really freaking out about this um <laughs> they're looking pretty good um my maranta um kashaviana lucanura ferricata whatever it's called is uh, pushing out some lovely new growth um which i'm really happy about because we've got some some uh, damage down here and again i think this one had thrips um and really was not happy um for a patch of time and same with him um which one is it there's a leaf somewhere in here which went fully like maranta lemon lime well you can probably see that where he had the thrips it kind of he lost all the pink pigment um <laughs> which is a bit weird um but yeah it wasn't a good reason to keep the thrips obviously um here is my variegated I think this is what you call sport variegated in that it's just a mutation but my lovely um alocasia zabrina absolutely gorgeous he's just tied <laughs> so this is this is a bit a bit weird um basically i have you know when you have an operation and they give you compression socks um well i cut mine up because they were green and i figured they'd be really nice for uh <laughs> supporting my plants um don't judge me i know it's weird um here is my peperomia velvet tree which is like flowering like crazy which is very weird um but pretty i like it um and yeah we have a little selection of cacti over here um, here are some of my new babies. These are very cool, um, you know, and things that I shouldn't have been purchasing, which when I made my no buy video, these were in the post. <laughs> um, and, you know, I just kind of felt bad when they arrived, but um, I'm going to make the most of having them because they're pretty. Don't mind the uh, broken, the cat's been playing with that. Um, so, yeah, some really cool ones. Um, I love this Jinno Coliseum. I love him as well. I love all of them. I think this one might be about to flower. Um, and this one's certainly got some flower buds coming as well. So, yeah, very exciting. Um, yeah, nothing major else to show you. I think these um, Hoya have also had thrips. Um, they certainly weren't happy for a little while, but now that they've been treated, they're doing a lot better. Um, yeah, my gorgeous macrame hangers, macrame hangers um, from Rianne Baxter. Um, so I love this one. This one is, is, you probably can't see it very well in this light, but it's kind of um, dip dyed um, and it's uh, kind of beige to sage. <laughs> um, but I really like it with my Tradescantia Nanook. I need to do a proper photo of this and obviously this one's got a bit bashed, um, but also had you know, thrips. So doing okay. We're doing okay. And my Hoya Linearis really well and truly crying out for some help there. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, we'll get there. <laughs> um, so over here, we've got some thirsty looking begonias. Okay. They weren't looking thirsty like this this morning, but um, they, they've done that flop thing. Um, so these ones, particularly my begonia Griffon, I didn't realize quite how badly he had the thrips, but he is making a comeback um which i'm very 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 happy about um similarly with my wolnii wolnii um and yeah there's there's been quite a few little thrip victims down here i admit i wasn't really like aware enough that um thrips could get begonias too um so yeah here's my aldermore and if you remember when I first got this, this was just such a glorious, great big plant. And now he's really, really sparse. Um, yeah, we'll get there. Some little oxalis. I've got a weird little grow tent in here. Um, some, <laughs> some, there's some of those begonias from Dibley's um, that I removed the plug from. One of them I think is dead. That's the Connie Boswell. The Pollux is due to make a comeback he's definitely still alive but struggling the metallica is doing great um yeah and then just just some other bits and bobs and cuttings and things um this is my odds and sods workstation a couple of cuttings in a glass um, of water there what else 
um, we have got my um, Monstera Tide Constellation with a lovely little new leaf coming in here. I don't look at him. Um, so I'm going on holiday on Friday. Oops, let's focus that. I'm going on holiday on Friday and I'm not sure I'll be able to see what he comes out like in time, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, these all really, really suffered with the thrips. Um, let me see if I can find a good example of a leaf that's suffered. So can you see on this leaf, on the back of this leaf, you've got this kind of rustiness. That is a really kind of classic sign of thrips. Um, and he has it all over. Um, why, why aren't you focusing, you stupid bloody mobile phone camera? Um, right, there. So um, that is something definitely to look out for um, with your plants. So he's kind of got it on quite a few of these. Um, he has some little dead thrips on there as well. I really probably should have kind of cleaned it, but never mind. It's fine. Um, the remnants of my micans and the remnants of my philodendron Brazil. Um, eh, what, what are you going to do? Um, there's my um, Piper... Um, blah, 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 blah. What's it called? Piper Ornata, I think it is. Um, another <laughs> thrip victim. This is my gorgeous um, Begonia erythrophylla. As you can see, it's, you know, all the leaves um, tanked on this one and I just chopped him right back um, to the uh, rhizomes and he is doing spectacularly well and I'm really, really satisfied that he is improving. Um, we've got this little fella. Um, the Begonia Mountain slash Masoniana. Um, he's, um, I can't quite put my finger on what's going on with him. So he's, he's kind of having a weird combination of powdery mildew and um, not enough humidity. So I need to find um, the right kind of growing environments for him. Um, but we'll get there. Here's my little um, humidifier. Um, my coniogram um which is doing okay i converted it into a little ceramic pot um and um it's it's having a few kind of a little bit of a fit over here but the rest of the plant is doing really well so i'm not too worried my gorgeous melanocrysum so here is the latest leaf it is um producing a new little one there as well so um after a few of you suggested um that the philodendron might not like um being in the self-watering pot with um soil i did in the end decide to convert him into leka um so i decided not to do another video on that because i already did um for the philodendron totem um but pretty much the same thing and he hasn't had any teething problems at all so I'm very happy about that. Here over here we've got just a little I don't know what like a weird kind of stash of stuff um, where I've been propagating and doing all sorts of things. <laughs> um, so these these little begonias are all to be sent to a number of friends that I plan to send to um, the glass house and gardens um, if you're watching one of these is for you also Jerry one of these is for you I'm just I, I didn't want to send them while I still have thrips um, and you know infest you so that's that um, so here's what is interestingly happening with those Helen Tupels I may have missed a watering or two but at least we're still kind of scientifically still um, keeping them in the same environment. So they're all still alive. Um, so this is the one with the mesh, who has really kind of struggled, I think, to be honest with you. Um, and that's in the terracotta. This is the one without any mesh in the terracotta, also struggled, interestingly. And Jerry, my good friend Jerry, said that um, this might happen. <laughs> interestingly, the ones in plastic which I predicted wouldn't do so well, are doing 
very bloody well. <laughs> so that one is the one with no mesh and that one is the one with mesh. Um, and yeah, what the fuck <laughs> is all I've got to say. Um, and under here, my friends, we've got a little prop box, which I have not um, been up to speed with, but we've got a lot of lovely begonias in there. And m one of my pride and joys um, is here. Look at that. That is my gorgeous begonia melan mel melana bellata. <laughs> that's the one. And it is absolutely stunning. It reminds me of um, those boots that you used to be able to get, like the really posh boots um, that were then knocked off by like new look and stuff. And they'd have all the spikes um, down the heels. But yeah, look at that beauty. Um, yeah, he's he's growing strong actually. Like he's got quite a few leaves in there. Um, another new one coming up. So um, I only got this one recently. I didn't kind of vlog about it at the time or anything or unbox it because I just felt I was in that weird buying frenzy and I kind of felt ashamed in a way. So um, yeah, but he's here now, so we look after him. All right, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just getting a little box underneath me so I can stand up here. So here is my prop box. Now this one I've just treated for thrips because again, issues. Um, so you may be able to see in here, we've got quite a few, try and do this one handed so I don't fall down. So in the bottom there, we've got a baby uh, Melanocrysum. We have a lovely Begonia Chlorineura. We also have a Chlorus Sticta over there, which has, not taken well to the thrip treatment much, but it's, it's doing okay. We'll be all right, we'll be all right. Um, and we have uh, <laughs> what remains of my Philodendron varicosum over there, which also uh, I realized this weekend that I think he probably still had thrip, so I had to do another treatment. And we've got a Philodendron brantianum, um, which I think, again, has been struggling with thrips. Um, so fingers crossed, these will all improve, but look at that chlorineura. Oh my God, that is a beauty. And I I need to gloss over this chlorosticta because I'm so terrified it's gonna die. And if I even dare tell it how much it means to me, um, it's gonna die on me. So yeah, just gonna let it do its thing. No pressure, no pressure. Um, then what have I got in here? Um, I've got a little, uh, I've got some, some begonias. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get this off one handed, but basically if you can see in here, I've got a little, uh, watermelon dish, dish here. Um, I've got, um, what's he called? Um, begonia amphioxus because I bought one in, um, Stewart's recently. And I was just like, do you know what? I've had so many of these now and killed them all. I'm not taking any chances. I'm propagating the heck out of this thing. Um, <laughs> so that's what's happened there. Um, is this where my, oh, it is. Okay, no, I am gonna have to try and try and get it out. Right, let's see what we can do. Wonder if I'll do, yeah. Okay, and here my lovely followers um we have a begonia pavanina who knew who knew um so my most recent rare begonias most of them have either come from ebay or from this wonderful facebook group which i'll put a link to in the description because they are absolutely lovely and they sell them for you know a reasonable human price and not just um, as much as you can humanly possibly get out of anyone. So yeah, they're lovely. I highly recommend them. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was wondering what the green leaves are next to the, um, Amphioxus and it is a Peperomia scandens. Um, was from a variegata plant, but it looks like it has reverted. And that's, that's actually quite exciting because I don't have a plain non-variegated version. Um, so these little pots are trying to germinate some begonia picturata seeds. I don't know how successful I will be. Um, 
yeah oh i haven't really properly showed you this setup um but i will in a prop in a video at some point um here's a little mark gravia cutting um in a ferrero rocher box if you wanted to know with some sphagnum moss nice and handy looks like he's got his own little coffin um <laughs> so i'm trying to root him because he's proving kind of difficult to root um i've got a handful of begonias propagating up there and um I don't know, will I be able to show you? Let's see. Let us see. Um, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I can't really show you. Um, and this one's kind of empty. So, yeah, that is my propagation status. Um, how am I going to get down? Right, okay, I've done it. <laughs> okay, and now we are walking through the flat. Okay, so if I go up to, here is the fish tank um, terrarium that I built and it's it's definitely seen better days. There's some um, plants that are doing okay and some that really aren't. Um, I got my watering a bit upside down um, and I still don't really know what the correct is but I seem to find now the more I leave it the better they do. So. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's just gloss over that a bit, shall we? <laughs> um, <laughs> my lovely big Monstera, which has really struggled with the thrips, um, like really struggled again. So maybe you can see a bit better in this light. I don't know, but, um, here is, damn it, <laughs> one-handed camera holding, not good. Right. So here is classic kind of thrips symptoms um with all this kind of browning it almost looks like rust on the leaves um so that's old um and i've subsequently had a further infestation so um yeah let's let's hope that he's he's over it for now because it's been a it's been a long old road and this is my most glorious great big plant um yeah we'll see what happens i actually should probably have these grow lights on i haven't let's see just just ignore the dying ad adansonia down down there <laughs> um have another little chlorineur in there um no particular reason why it's in there um but yeah this was my old hamster cage so i haven't really set it up um properly yet which is probably why they're dying huge thrip victim okay huge um but yeah we're getting there he is beginning to so this is a new leaf um that started to grow while he still had thrips but he is beginning to push out some better growth now so um a lovely little raphidophora tetrasperma which are doing very well a little fish tank which i never told you about <laughs> um yeah, that's doing fine. We'll come back to that at a later date. Um, then we have my Epipremnum pinnatum, just the bog standard version, um, post thrips. This fella I still need to treat because he's very unhappy. Um, that is my Philodendron erubescens, a handful of Sansevieria, little um, Calathea corner. Um, then we have got my Raven Zizi by the TV. And this little fella, I love this little fella. He's very cute. There we go. Um, now, <laughs> um, this one, this one's a bit weird. This is a kind of sport variegated um, Camidoria elegans um, and he's just never been happy um, I mean I think it's probably because he's variegated and can't get enough light but I think he may have had thrips may also well definitely also had and has uh, mealybug problems so that's that um, <laughs> uh, then we have this little well rather large terrarium so in here there's a handful of different um, plants we've got uh, let's see if I can point out, uh, Raphidophora hayi 
in there. We've also got a Monstera dubia clambering around somewhere. We've also got a Begonia brava ramosa under there and a little um, Syngonium variegata, Syngonium albo variegata. Albo? Yeah. Uh, Albo, yes, and um, <laughs> I can't remember his proper name. Um, so yeah, he's this terrarium's doing really well in a south-facing window. Would you believe? Thrip victim number nine thousand. Um, this is my gorgeous Diefenbachia reflector, um, and he is bouncing back. So we've got a little little leaf down here coming along, um, just there, which I'm very happy about. We've got a little shoot here and a mealy bug on it oh for flip's sake um, and another little shoot there with mealy bugs on it jesus see this is what i meant when i said that i'm kind of getting out of control with my plant collection but there we go um then if you're on instagram you may recognize this lovely plant this is uh my dishidia ruscifolia um which is in this gorgeous um indian bead um macrame hanger from rianne baxter again so this one is the large ada with indian beads and yeah i absolutely love that i do, i love this plant in it as well um yeah i feel like it's just improved my quality of life somehow um some rather thrippy hoya. Um, so yeah, we if you can't tell, we haven't really got to this room just yet. Um, yeah, large epiphyllum. Uh, we have my little... Sorry, I was just eating dinner before. I, no, lunch. You know what I mean. Um, we've got my begonia dark eyes, who is thriving and putting out all kinds of flowers um very happy little fella i love this begonia so easy going honestly um right i'm gonna cut to the next room okay final room um and <laughs> don't hate me i haven't put everything well i haven't put much of anything that i've been doing on um youtube so i'm sorry um so this um, you may have seen this on my Instagram. This is my Amorphophallus viridis. Um, he's crept under this grow light and burned himself. I don't know how well you can see that, um, which is kind of upsetting, but you know, it's fine. But yeah, look at that. It's, 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 it is what it is. There's nothing I can do. Um, under there we have a caladium, which I hope one day might come through. <laughs> Little nail polish stand, as you do. Alocasia, oh, what's your name? Coculata. Um, this is also a room where I haven't done too well on the thrip control, but um, we're getting there. Um, I love this uh, begonia. He's begonia benetichiba, um, very gorgeous. And then begonia benigo, I think it is, with the pink splashes, although he's definitely got thrips. So I really need to do something about that. Um, my lovely caladium gingerbreads coming up there. These other caladiums have, uh, these colocasias have absolutely no sign of coming up but we'll see what happens uh little photonia very thrippy very thrippy alocasia there another little thrippy begonia <laughs> oh don't hate me right and this this is even worse okay so i'm in the process of improving my ikea greenhouse cabinet and um it's not going badly um but i'm certainly nowhere near where i want to be with it so let's just kind of gloss over this and say we're in a work in progress state and ignore those those leaves um, uh, then we've got my um variegated peace lily um and a very wilted um stag's horn staghorn fern Gee, I really need to, I need to do some watering in here. So, um, yeah, I've got a few um, pothos type plants hanging up here. Um, okay, you're really not getting to see very much, are you? Um, a Diefenbachia, which is clinging onto life after some thrips. A, um, what's your name? 
Xanthosoma, who went dormant and is now coming back, but got sat on by the cat. So, um, yeah, not doing as well as necessarily one might hope. But um, this gorgeous, gorgeous philodendron, which I love. Um, I'm not really getting a good angle here, am I, with the light? Um, if I show you like this, maybe, does that, can you see that? Can you see that? Look how dark and gorgeous these leaves are. They're just absolutely stunning. Um, it, this is still kind of unidentified. I think it might be a royal queen. I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, it's got these dark, dark leaves, dark green leaves down here, and they come out really, really black almost um and the caterpillars are red and the stems are dark red um they're kind of bronzy black i don't know if you know what that is tell me um then we have some more pothos type stuff little philodendron things i'm not going to show you these because it's going to be hard with the light um but i have a very thrippy <laughs> anthurium here um I will probably have to do an update once um, I've managed to get through the other two rooms of Thrips, but um, it's quite a mission, as I'm sure you can imagine. My little fiddle leaf fig in the corner, um, a... Are you recovering or are you not? It's hard to tell. Um, yes, my rubber tree. <laughs> um, a little corner of plants here. Um, not much to tell you about these really um, and I've just got a little terrarium in there with some begonia amphioxus and um, a jewel orchid so yeah um, that's not everything but as you can see I'm in quite the state of chaos um, with my plants which is why I really needed to invoke this no buy because I just I, I'm not keeping track of them well enough at the moment so um, and certainly the thrips thing has really knocked me for six in terms of plant care so um yeah i would say we're getting there we're improving uh, that is the important thing and um i hope to see a day where these plants can live their full healthy lives um as they should be really because uh, i think the tr the trouble with thrips is kind of when you when you first see them you have to get rid of them straight away um otherwise they just overnight kind of infest everything and i think i went into a bit of denial and just was like nah it'll be fine or like um kind of was like oh maybe it's not thrips maybe it's something else um or um i did do a lot of different types of treatment um but they didn't all work well actually none of them worked um so and i was really 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 reluctant to go into using pesticides but it is what it is so um yeah that's kind of the situation um for me right now that's where we're at um as you can see not everything's looking great but as you know i like to keep it real i don't want to show you my entire um polished beautiful collection when it's perfect um because that's just not how plant care works really is it like i don't think i know anyone honestly who hasn't had a struggle with their plant care collection and i know you guys have the same problem because one of my most popular videos to date was plants i've been killing so i know that people like to know that they're not alone <laughs> in it um so yeah, um, that is today's update. I will be on holiday for a little while. Um, I'm going for two weeks away in Scotland with my family. Um, and I'm really excited about that. I might do a little bit of kind of vlog capture of stuff, but I might not, I don't know. I'm kind of undecided. I'm gonna see how I feel when I'm there. Um, I have been kind of doing <laughs> way too much lately and kind of burning myself out quite a lot so I might just take a break we'll see we'll see I'm not very good at that so um yeah uh thank you as always so much for watching and uh let me know what's going on in your plant domain and uh yeah please if you have thrips commiserate with me <laughs> it's a, such a battle it is such a battle um but yeah hope you're all doing well and thank you as always for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon bye guys